Stay lifted. And the joint in the Coda Sack, what's crazy about that? I recorded that, I wrote that song, recorded it, memorized it, did the video all in the same day. <laughs> wow. Because like I was just watching um Everyday Struggle with mm -hmm. Joe Budden and Academics, and um it had Yachty on it. And I just said, you know what? I just wanna I haven't dropped anything in a while. And um let me just write something to talk about how I feel. And I had to kind of force myself to do it because I get into this bag where I'm like, I know I need to do something, but I procrastinate heavy. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I put out a post and say, song dropping Friday, and I had no song. Right, right. So, so I was like, well, go I in. gotta do it now. Right. And this is, this is after one shot. Right, so this is after one shot. Like, okay, you put a yeah. pressure on yourself, okay. Yeah, so I was like, well, a song's dropping Friday, and I had absolutely no, I didn't even have a beat. I was mm -hmm. like, well, now I gotta, I, I just applied the pressure to myself. Yeah, yeah, you put your hand on the pot, that shit started boiling. Yeah. Gave, <laughs> that gave, water started boiling. Gave my brother the camera, I was like, all right, let's do this. Let, yeah. me, let me shoot this video. And okay. Um, Born Famous picked it up. I remember you shot me a text. She was like, yo, did you see? And it was, mm -hmm. bro, I think it's at like 4.7 mil now. That's crazy. That's and it's crazy. retarded. But so what's that fanfare look like? Like, is it more oh, yeah. social that was, DMs and shit like yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. Like, my my phone was on fire for right. like the longest. Like, right. and a lot of the, the, I don't like calling them fans. I mean, not that it's disrespectful, but right, that, right. That, makes it, that makes them sound too far away. Right, but, right. So I'll just say supporters. So we're like, a lot of the supporters I have now, are still like the first thing I heard from you is this or like Chris Webby. Chris Webby came to Atlanta and hit me up on Twitter and invited me to the show and we mm -hmm. chilled backstage. Me, him, Nick Grant. I said, you know, yeah, yeah, Nick Grant, um, Cato, and all that stuff. And it's because somebody sent him the link to to that song and he was like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah, bring it through. That's fire. Bro. Yeah, Malcolm Jamal Warner. Wow. Somebody hit him up and showed him that video and he put it on his Twitter. He was like, yeah, this reminds me of Royce. This is crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, so That's that was, crazy. yeah, the exposure from that track was crazy. But, you know, that you got some people who are like, well, you know, you dissing Yachty to try to get famous and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And, but this one I want people to know. As an MC, I'm really particular about the words I use. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I mean, I guess if you want to call it a diss, you can. But I wasn't really... I don't really consider it a diss. Mm -hmm. I even said that if you get an award, I would get out of my seat and clap for you. Like, I want to see everybody win, mm -hmm. but there's a difference between saying I'm hating and something's just not for me. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? It's there's just like a, saying, like, I, I drink Hennessy. I don't drink tequila. Like, so I, yeah, give me that me? dark. Don't give me that light. <laughs> yeah. If it ain't, you know, if it's, if it's light, it ain't right. It's like, no, nah, it's not a shot at tequila or, or right. anything. It's like, yo, this is... So, and some people in their mind, they mm -hmm. need that point of reference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you exactly. know, sometimes it can get ugly. You know what I mean? But like. Shit, this is hip hop, baby. Yeah, bro. But the main thing I would say that I've learned from those two, mm -hmm. and I think you heard me talking about it with someone at A3C last year. I think we was in like a marketing meeting or whatever like that. I said, I keep on having these strides in my career, like one shot and then the 4.7 million views, but I don't always have everything set up to keep growing from there. Okay. So I think like it's not really the moment that's important. It's the consistency you have after the moment. Right. Okay. Because like if you get 4.7 million views or something, and then somebody comes to your YouTube page and you have no music, people will get over you quick. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Or like they, they need to see that same consistency. Even when I talk to Royce, because I don't like to, I'm not one of those dudes that walks up to artists and say, hey, sign me and all that. I just say, yo, what knowledge can you give me? Mm. And Royce said consistency. Mm. Royce said the same person you are now, you need to be the next time when I see you. Like as a person yeah. and as an MC, the next thing you spit needs to be at this level or better. And you got to carry that consistency. So right. that's... And, that, and that's what you need when those moments come. And you can have more moments like that if you keep that consistency.